going to do a little short review of the battery desulfators I've made by hand. Uh, this is a little case, obviously, the, the desulfator is actually inside. But uh, it's just a simple little circuit inside a little PVC canister to keep it dry from any moisture and, and uh, splashing and rain. But uh, it's a pretty simple design. Uh, it builds up a little voltage spike from the batteries. It's actually hooked up right now. Uh, let me screw it out a little bit. You can see that uh, these two batteries have one desulfurator on them. Batteries running at approximately 12.6 uh, volts. Uh, I just got done driving, so it's down a little bit. And I can measure this voltage spike across the leading of this. You can see it's 46.4 volts of a spike being thrown back into the battery. The reason I can read it at the device and not at the battery is because the battery acts as a buffer. And you have to read that from, directly from the device. But uh, it's using these coils to help build up uh, this charge from 12 volts up to this, well, what was 46 volts. And the timing circuit will collapse the, the magnetic field and then throwing the, the voltage back into the batteries. Uh, but it does this extremely fast. It's doing about every 50 milliseconds. Uh, I'm not sure how many times that is per minute, but that's uh, quite quite quick. And you actually hear a humming noise from the device once up close. The microphone should be able to pick that up. Kind of a wee noise. And actually you can hear the, the change when I uh, put my finger on the bottom. It adjusts the, the resistances and changes the pitch of the, the wind because it's changing the time frequency. But you can kind of hear when I touch the bottom. Hopefully I picked it up. You can you can sense that uh, it was actually changing the frequency of the, of the pulse, but uh, not the actual amount. But you, as you see, it's a really simple design. Uh, you can pick these up online for uh, twenty-five to fifty dollars, uh, depending on how nice the, the build is, and uh, or you could do it yourself from the schematics like I did and do it for about uh, twelve dollars in parts. So uh, overall, it's been a nice device. I've gained about. Uh, one or two volts across my entire pack. It uh, doesn't sound like much, but uh, every little bit counts and uh, actually equates to a percentage or two on the pack's uh, total percentage of charge. So um, hopefully after two months, I should be recovering the full potential of these batteries. Uh, even though they're used, it won't be new, but it will be hopefully delivering its full potential in the two months time that it should take about uh, to, to desulfate them. Supposedly it's about uh, one day per pound of lead and these batteries are about 66 pounds so that's you know, roughly your two months mark. So hopefully uh, two weeks gave me uh, two volts. Hopefully by the end of the actual uh, two months I'll have uh, more of a gain on the whole entire pack. So that's the review of the battery desulfators.